In this lecture, we are going to talk about what is higher order component in the React application. As you build React application, you will run into a situation where you want to share some functionality across multiple components. In this case, you can use higher order component. So what is higher order component? Higher order components are simply React component that are wrapped around other components. Let me show you a very simple example of higher order component. Let's create the higher order component to convert the simple text into uppercase. Inside this app folder, I'm going to create a new file and name this file HOC, higher order component. And here I'm going to create a functional component. So I'm going to say react functional component. This will create HOC, higher order component here. Let me just import this inside the index.js file. So here I'm going to say higher order component, HOC, like this. Save this file and back to the HOC. And now what I'm going to do is here I'm going to create my higher order component. So I'm going to create here a command and say higher order component. So to create higher order component, you just need to start with the constant keyword, then specify the name of your component. I'm going to just simply specify higher order is equal to, so this is the name of my component, higher order. And then I'm going to pass parenthesis here. As I said earlier, higher order component are simply a React component that are wrapped around other component. So when you want to create higher order component, you need to specify a function inside another function. So what I'm going to do is here, I'm going to specify another function. So I'm going to say here arrow, just out that. I'm going to specify parenthesis again and then pass an arrow again. You can notice here the function within a function. Inside this first parenthesis here, I'm going to specify a wrapper component. So I'm going to say here wrapped component. That's upon you. You can specify any name to this parameter. Just out that. Inside this parenthesis, I'm going to pass my properties. So I'm going to say here props like this. So this is my component used to wrap around another component. And then this is my properties. Using it, I can pass different properties to this component. So inside this higher order, I'm going to simply return in the parenthesis a division tag. And inside it, I'm going to call my wrapper component. So I'm going to say here wrapper component like this. And inside this wrapper component, I'm going to add curly braces and say here props dot children dot to uppercase. Now you can notice a new property here, which is children. The children property allows you to pass component as data to other components, just like any other property you use in React application. So this property is basically used to pass data to the other component. And I'm going to just call to uppercase method of react. So this will convert the text into uppercase. Now just start that just down here, I'm going to create a simple component. So I'm going to say here constant username is equal to and specify here props. I'm going to just say div and inside this div, I'm going to simply say props dot children like this. And just start that just down here, I'm going to simply say constant uppercase username. I'm going to create a variable uppercase username and then I'm going to call here my higher order component like this and in the parenthesis I'm going to simply pass my username component just like this and then I'm going to just simply call this uppercase username inside my main component right here just like this and then I need to pass data to this component. So inside this tag, inside this component, here I'm going to specify tuition like this. Let me save this file. Now, when I execute this file, you can notice I'm going to have tuition as a response, but in the capital letters. So this component is used to convert the text into capital letters. Now you can notice how easy it is to create the higher order component in React. We just created a wrapper inside this component and use that wrapper to convert the text into uppercase. Now you can pass any component inside this parenthesis. This higher order component is going to convert your text into uppercase. The use of this component is to convert your text into uppercase. You can notice I use here a component as a parameter and use that component as a wrapper. I wrap all the content using this statement. I'm going to just see here props.children. So this property is going to access the children data. You can notice here this property is accessing this tuition data, the children of this component. 
Now just for that, I just use the same property inside my component here as well, inside this user component. So I can access this children data inside this division tag. Now just for that, I just call this component right down here and pass my component as a parameter. So once I have data inside this property, this component is going to convert that data into uppercase using this method and return to this uppercase username variable. And then I'm going to just call that variable as a component. You can notice here. So whenever I specify any text inside this component, this higher order component will convert that text and I'm going to have all the text in uppercase. Next, we'll talk about how to create references in the React application.